Yeah, you guys want to listen to Midas now? <laughs> let's get let's get Midas out of the way. Um, yeah, we have got Midas, third track off Midas's upcoming album coming out. We know. I mean, everyone who decoded the Billboard, we know what day the album's coming out. Um, I probably won't leak it to the public, especially on a on a YouTube video. I won't leak it. I'm probably gonna end up turning this into a video, so we won't leak it. Um, but everyone knows, everyone that's in the discord knows we've decoded the billboard. So we know what day it's coming out. But anyways, we've got Midas Dia Frampton falling into mystery. We got an instrumental. We got a regular. We're obviously going to listen to the vocal. Vocal's always going to increase it. Um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I thought the first two singles wasn't in love with Phantom Love really that much. Wasn't really in love with Wish You Were Here either on first listen. That one's kind of grown a little bit as time has gone on. But yeah, I don't know. So we'll have to see. Hope the third single intrigues me for the album. If not, it'll kind of be heading into an album where I'm not really a fan of any of the singles that much, to be honest. So um, let's see. It's Dia Frampton. Surely it's got to be at least somewhat engaging, right? Let's see. Give me something, Midas. What's up, Insko? Thank you, brother. say I feel like the vocals are a little drowned I would like the vocals a little bit more present there but take it easy Kyle Kyle have a good one brother Goosebumps. What a fucking chorus. Holy shit. Give me something to drop, dude. Fucking beautiful, holy shit. God damn, dude. Wow, that is beautiful. Holy shit, dude.
Holy shit, dude. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh my god, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What was that, dude? Oh my god, man. That was so good. That was so good, dude. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was great. Holy shit, that might be the best Midas song I've ever heard, bro. I'm not even kidding. Wow, dude. That's exactly what I wanted from Midas, bro. That's exactly what I wanted from Midas. Holy shit, that was fucking great. God damn, dude. The emotion in that, the chords, the vocal on that. I just, I wish the vocal was a little bit more present in those verses. I'm not going to lie. Wow, dude, that was so fucking beautiful, man. Holy shit, dude. 9.85. 9.85. That got me in my feels, bro. Holy shit. Wow, dude, I'm actually stunned. I want to listen to that again. That was beautiful. That was like pin pinnacle of songwriting. Wow, dude, Midas actually killed it on that. Holy shit. That's so great too, because I like wasn't that big on the past two singles and like that coming in. Holy shit, dude. I want to listen to that again. That was beautiful, bro. I can't, I like, my really one of my, my only nitpick of that is like, I want the vocals more present in the mix. There's no way that there's no, I'm just going to be honest. There's no way the instrumental mix is beating that Dia Frampton killed that, bro. That's going to get amazing from chat, dude. I'd agree, bro. That's a special, that's a special ass tune, bro. Dia absolutely killed it on that. That's what I'm saying. I want, I wish her vocals were a little bit more present there. Cause like, yeah, I gotta listen to that again, bro. I gotta listen to that again. Jesus, man. <laughs> convinced on flying out now I feel like I kind of have to like the melody on that dude Right there. Yeah, that's the best song Midas has ever done. I'm just gonna straight up be honest. That is the best song I've ever heard from Midas. That is the best song I've heard. I don't know if I want to say considerably because Follow You is really good, but like. I'm going to say, just off first listen, I feel very similar to the way I felt about Worlds Away. Not, I don't think as it's, it's Worlds Away level, it's close. <laughs> I'm going to say it's close. That's probably going to end up being the best song of 2024. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's probably gonna end up being best song of 2024, dude. That might be that's 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 favorite for number one right now. That's favorite for number one. That's the favorite. That's the favorite for number one. I didn't rate Worlds Away 10. I should have rated Worlds Away a 10. This is close. <laughs> this is really fucking close, dude. Wow, dude. Yeah, that's the best song I've ever heard from Midas. Not even a question. So much euphoria and impeccable chords and fantastic vocal. This this one will probably end up being a 10. I'm not even going to lie. This will probably end up being a 10. <laughs> This one will probably end up being a 10. Give me like, give me like a check it back in in like a month and see, and we'll see where we're standing. Oh my God, dude. That's, that's, that's gorgeous. That's one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in a, in a long time, dude. That is so beautiful, dude. Wow, dude. Yeah. That's, that's something else, bro. That's something else. I'd expect TKC to care about uniqueness. I can understand it's a little generic. I'm not going to lie, but like, dude, sound, sound, like musicality wise and like songwriting wise, that's like a fucking 12, bro. That's a 12. That's one of like the best chord progressions, melodies, vocals, like I've heard in a hot, I mean, obviously since Worlds, I think Worlds Away probably still clears that, but like, damn, dude. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Wow, dude, that, that, I'm kind of speechless, bro. I'm kind of speechless, dude. All right, well, my expectations for the album have completely changed. <laughs> I went from like, eh, I, I thought Phantom Love was not my thing like at all. Wish You Were Here, I was like, okay, you know, we're picking it up a little bit. Didn't really like the vocal on that one, but it was still good. But like, oh my God, dude, I never would have predicted something like that. Whole mice albums go to you're gonna love it. I hope so, man. I really hope so. I've been I've been rooting for Midas, dude. Love his stuff. I think like that's got me sold, dude. I have to see that. I have to see that song live now, dude. I have to see that song live. I have to go to Vancouver now. I have to go to Vancouver to see it. Midas. Like it has to happen. I can't miss. I can't. I have to hear that live now. There's no. There's no question. Uh, like that has to happen. It's not a song for shows. That absolutely is a song for shows. That, that is probably going to be the album. I would not be shocked if that's like the album closer. That's got to be like the album closer for sure, dude. My hands down the best song that Midas has ever done. I haven't felt that way about listening to a song since Worlds Away and then before Worlds Away like three years ago. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time, man. Yeah, wow.